Good morning, guys. It's about 9.30 in the morning. Jim and I just took a walk down to the wharf and got coffee and sat outside by the water, which was really nice. And now we're getting ready to plan out our day. So on the agenda today is we're headed back to the cliff wall because Jim didn't get to see that yet. And I want him to like just kind of see how beautiful it is there looking at all the mansions and the ocean and all of that stuff. And we're touring one more mansion today, the Elms, and then hopefully we're going to make it to the beach. And that is the plan for the day. So it was raining a little bit this morning, but the sun's coming out and I'm looking forward to another fun day here in Newport. So we've just toured the elms and we're in the garden area and it's absolutely beautiful. I just, <laughs> I'm just so amazed by how beautiful all these properties are. So we're just walking around the gardens and there was just a torrential downpour, but we got out right after it ended. So we can walk around a little bit and just enjoy this beautiful atmosphere. Dells of Newport, Rhode Island Lemonade. Checking out the aquarium. I think you're allowed to pet some of these animals. Don't touch the lobster. Grover, I know it's a girl because the boys will have knobs and the girls have all the unicorn legs. Her mouth's right in here by her little pinchers. These are her gills, that's how she breathes. We call it the buck gills. Usually her tail's longer and she can use it to flip herself over. So although they are crustaceans, they're more closely related to spiders and scorpions. That's hard to tell why. It's just what she wanted to hear right now. <laughs> they're also very resilient, so they can stay out of the water for up to 40 minutes at a time. So we're back from a pretty full day at the beach. We ended up going to the Elms this morning, which was really nice. And then we came back to the room and had lunch. It's really nice having like a little kitchen area because the one morning we were able to just have pancakes here. And then today we just had sandwiches and it just kind of saves on money. And it's just easier sometimes just to like come back, rest, have something to eat. So we did that. We got ready for the beach. We went to Easton's beach. And it's interesting because we come from the Jersey Shore and I wasn't really sure what to expect with a beach that's kind of in the New England area. And I don't know, the water was really murky and like muddy looking and it, it just wasn't what I expected, but it was okay. I mean, 
we were, got really lucky because the weather ended up being really nice. It got hot. We had a few hours on the beach. We went to the aquarium, which was a lot of fun. We got to pet like sharks and stuff like that, which was pretty neat. And we got the famous Dell's lemonade finally. We haven't been able to find any lemonade stands that sold Dell's in the area that we're in now. So it was nice that we were able to do that at the beach. And now we just came back, showered, got ready, and we're headed to dinner at a place called, I think it's Joe's American Bistro. So I'm excited for that. We're gonna head out, have dinner. I'm not quite sure what we're doing after dinner yet. And tomorrow's gonna be our last day. And we're not staying a full day because it's like a four and a half hour drive home. So we'll see what we're up to tonight. I'm not quite sure yet, but I'm sure we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're really enjoying our time here and it's really a beautiful seashore town. <music> So we are back from dinner. We had a really great dinner at Joe's American Bistro. And now we're going to head out to one of the lighthouses here in Rhode Island to watch the sunset because it's still kind of early. And I think we can probably catch it in time. We came back to the room. I just changed. I'm actually wearing this top that I bought last night. It's getting a little bit chilly out and <laughs> I'm excited to check out this beautiful lighthouse that apparently is really famous for a lot of like photographers. It's really well known for being one of the most photographed places, I think, in New England. So we're gonna go check it out. getting here we had to like walk down this trail but it's really pretty unfortunately I don't think we're gonna get much of a sunset right yeah it's, it's like kind of cloudy. yeah it's cloudy and gray but it was definitely worth the trip really pretty what do you think yeah yeah did you like dinner tonight yeah <laughs> they put mushrooms on Madison's uh dinner and she asked for no mushrooms so it was it was a little rough but she got a free creme brulee because of it oh sunset the cannons when we went on the sunset cruise the other night, we were right where they like set off these cannons. Oh, yeah. And they said that's a traditional thing that at sunset, they set off these cannons. Of course, we didn't know that at the time. And it was terrifying because we were like right next to where they set the cannons off. But yeah, we hear it now. So that means the sun is setting, even though we can't really tell because it's, like gray. Because it's so gray out, but it's okay. It's a beautiful lighthouse and we're having a good time, right? So we're now at the Lawn at Castle Hill and we're just ordering a couple of drinks. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit and then we'll be headed back to our Airbnb, but it's so pretty here. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday morning. We're just packing up and getting ready to head out. This morning, Jim and I went back to the wharf again and just got some coffee, but today we are definitely getting rain. We got pretty lucky over the last couple of days where it was kind of on and off, but today is going to be like 80% chance of thunderstorms all day long. So we have brunch reservations at like 11 o'clock. We have to check out of here at 10. So we're just gonna pack up, head out to brunch, and then I think we might hit one of the wineries on the way home because there are some wineries here in Newport but we had a really great trip. Definitely enjoyed our time here in Rhode Island. Would love to come back again someday. And yeah, so we're going to head out of here soon and I'm gonna bring you guys along today for our last like half day here in Newport.
Okay, we are home. We had a long travel day with the weather and the traffic. It took us like five hours to get home, but we did go out to breakfast at a place called The Reef that was really good. It was right on the water. And then we stopped at the, New the Newport Vineyard, which was nice as well. And we just did um, like a wine tasting. We brought home a couple of bottles of wine and that's the end of our trip. I am so tired. It was a lot of fun, but it was also like a very active trip. We did a lot of walking and just climbing over rocks, going up and down stairs. The mansions were beautiful, but it was just a lot of walking through them. And it was just <laughs> a little bit physically exhausting. So um, I think I kind of wore everyone out. Madison is so tired today and so is Jim. But when I go somewhere, I like to do and see all of the things. So I always kind of push myself to do so and I'm never regretful of it. So we did have a good time and I'm happy to be home. I missed the dogs. They were so excited to see me, but I'm going to unpack and get settled in. I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along on our little trip to Newport, Rhode Island, and I will see you all really soon. Take care. Bye.